Hello, and welcome to my next Executive Series video. Our topic today is personnel requirements. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you are new, make sure you subscribe. Check out the status bar below for our agenda and stick around to the end for those bonus questions. Our topic, personnel requirements, comes directly from 211.28. Personnel requirements in five words. Prevent personnel from contaminating product. Each organization must document the personnel requirements for people working with the drug products. This includes the clothing they wear and any needed PPE, personal protective equipment, that may be required for the type of controlled environments the manufacturer has. Think of hairnets, goggles, gloves, smocks, booties for your shoes, whatever it is, beard covers. These requirements have to be defined and documented within the quality management system. Personnel working in controlled areas must have documented training on good sanitation and health habits. Employees must understand and practice good sanitation and health habits. Controlled areas can only be accessed by qualified individuals that understand the contamination control requirements. Any employee that has a medical condition, an open wound, or is sick, that could reasonably be assumed to affect the quality of the drug product must be restricted from entering controlled areas where they may come into contact with the drug product. Employees must understand that when they have this medical condition, they should notify their supervisors immediately and remove themselves from the controlled areas. Personnel that have removed themselves from the controlled areas or were removed by their supervisors are not allowed to re-enter those controlled areas until they are cleared by medical personnel. So how do I know this is working? Well, first, contamination control requirements for personnel entering controlled areas are defined, documented, and implemented, and employees are trained on those requirements. Second, the requirements for entering restricted or controlled areas are posted in the changing areas or washrooms to ensure that everyone understands what they are and can follow the processes. Third, all personnel working in restricted areas have documented training in good sanitation and health practices. And then finally, personnel that have medical conditions are restricted from working in controlled areas, and the employees themselves understand these requirements and ensure that they are followed. How do I know it's not working? First, the contamination control requirements for entering restricted areas are not defined, or they are loosely defined. Second, personnel are not trained on good sanitation and health habits, and these habits are not enforced throughout the manufacturing areas. Third, personnel that are sick or have a medical condition are allowed to continue working in the controlled environments where they may potentially contaminate the drug product. And then finally, the PPE and gowning requirements are not clearly outlined, posted, and maintained in all changing in washrooms where employees are entering the controlled environments. And now for the three bonus questions. What's the highest classification clean room that we have on site in our facility? Second, can you show me the contamination control requirements for our controlled environments? And finally, how do we handle sick employees or employees that have a medical condition? Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Send any questions to me at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained making quality systems simple for you.